Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, you are going to work on our small chart. We will be creating something similar to this, or actually the same as this one. Let's go back to our other document. And now we will start with creating lines. I will use the pen tool, one point here, press on the shift and one point here to make a straight line. Then click on the direct selection tool. We are going to disable the fill and enable the stroke. The size for the stroke will be one. And then I'm going to duplicate this one. Press and hold on the option and press on the arrow tool once to make a copy. Then you need to release the alt or option and continue moving to the right side. I'm pressing shift with it to make the jump uh, faster. And I'll make more copies just like that. Press on the command or option and move it to the right side. I will make one more copy. Now we have six uh, lines. Let's make another one. And another one. Now we have eight lines. I want to put them closer to each other. Just move them like this. We want to make them similar to this one. I'm going to move all of them close to each other. First I'm eyeballing on them. Later you're going to use the alignment tool to make the gap between them similar. I'm pressing on the shift to move them faster. Shift and the left arrow tool. Okay, now you're going to select all of them and we will use the alignment tool over here. We will use this one. Now the gap between all of them is similar. The next thing we're going to do is to select all of them, right click and convert them to the smart object. Oh, sorry, not clipping mask, smart object. And then we will name it lines. Bring down the opacity for them to 42. Now let's create a square. I will use the rectangle tool to create a square. Press on the shift to make a perfect circle, I mean square. Something like this will be good. Move it up in the middle, change the color to white, and then you will change the roundness for the corners. Make it 12. And now press on the command and click on the rectangle to make a selection. Now we will select the lines. Then use any selection tool. Come over here, right click on it, select inverse. Now we can remove the lines outside of this box. For the lines you need to rasterize it. Rasterize and press delete now. Deselect, command D. Now if we hide the square, we will see that the line appear only inside the square. Now enable the rectangle that we just created, this one. First make sure that you select the rectangle and then you are going to bring down the fill. Make it 46. Then select the direct selection tool and you are going to play with the points. We want to make a curve. Now Photoshop is asking you to convert it to the life path. You have to say yes. And then I'll go to the convert tool to make these handles for these points, for this one as well, and this one. Now go to the direct selection tool again, press on the shift and bring this down, and then we will make our path. We will make something similar to this one. So you just take your time and try your best to make something similar to mine. I'll move this up. Oh, 
okay let's move this up more now we are going to duplicate this one come on J for this copy we will bring down the fill all the way to zero and then we will enable the stroke make it white and the width let's see what will work for us make it 251 and then go to direct selection tool and you will remove this point select one point and delete one point and delete I'm using the delete uh, key on the keyboard okay I will make one more point on this line go to the pen tool and make one point here and then you are going to remove this one just like this we created our path now this side of the path I want to make a circle so go to the shape tool ellipse one and you are going to create a very small one I'm pressing on the option and shift together or alt and shift together to make a perfect circle from the center something like this should work fine one more thing I want to do I want this end to be rounded so just click on your path and come over here and choose this one now it is rounded the next thing we're going to do is to group all of these things together all of the elements of this uh, small chart which are these four yes enable them come on G to group them we will name this small chart now the next thing we are going to duplicate this chart and move it over other places I mean other charts let me enable this I accidentally disable it now select your group click on one of the handles and now we will move it down a bit then we will select the move tool select the group come on J to duplicate then click on the handles and move it with the arrow keys or with the mouse just like this when I move it I press on the shift as well so I can align it with the other chart I think I needed to move to the left side a bit because it's a group you have to click on one of the handles and then move it otherwise you will select the object inside the group like this you are good now we need to change the path we need to make something similar to this one so let's go back to our project I will select the path the path is this one we need to remove this one press the delete key to delete it and now this one we need to change the path make sure that you have the direct selection tool selected and now you will play with the points to make a path that we want let's bring this down as well so it's something like this just to remember we need to move this up okay we will need another point over here I'll go to the pen tool and make a point here go to the direct selection tool again and we will move it like this let's bring this down something like this would be good now the next thing we are going to do is to duplicate this path come on J on it to duplicate it and then you will disable the fill and enable the stroke make it white I don't remember what was the size of the stroke that's why I'm going to check it was 2.5 so you'll do the same for this one 
select your path, go to the stroke and make it 2.5. Obviously we didn't do it, select your path, go to the direct selection tool and then we'll go to the stroke again, make it 2.5. Something like this. Now when still the direct selection tool is uh, selected, I'm going to come over here and make the cups rounded and then you will remove these points. Just click on them and press on the delete on the keyboard. Delete them just like this. Now let's move this circle. Okay, just like this. Now the line in the right, we didn't delete it. Go to the path again this one, go to the direct selection tool and click on the point and remove it. This one is done as well. I'll go to select on the group, which is here, come on J to duplicate and then come over here, click on one of the handles and then move it. Press on the shift to align it with the other chart. Something like this will be good. But as you can see, the color on this one are too bright. I want to make them darker. So this one, I will just click on it, go to the properties. Then we will go to the gradients. Double click on it and make a darker color. For the other side, we will do the same. Something like this will be good. Now let's work on the chart. The first thing I'm going to use this path. We will remove that. And then we are going to play with the other one, which is this one. I will select the direct selection tool. And then we are going to create a path just like this one. Let's select our points and play with it. I'll bring this down. Just follow me and create the final look. I'm just trying to find if I can create a new path like not similar to the other one. I'll just see. And by the way, you can create anything that you want. These are just, I made them by myself. So if you want to create another path, you can do that. I mean, it's a chart. It's possible to have any look. So you don't have to stick to what I go with. I'm going to remove this point. Click and hold on the pen tool and delete the anchor point like this. We will remove it. We'll go back to the direct selection tool and create our path like this. Yeah, I think this is good. Something like this will be amazing. Now duplicate this, come on J. Then we will enable the stroke, make it white and make the size 2.5. Then disable the fill. And now you can go to the direct selection tool and remove the points. Come on Z because I removed everything. Make sure that you select one point and delete them just like this. Here we have a bit of the issue. We need to bring down this handle. Okay, then I'll go to the properties for this truck and I will make the caps rounded. We still have an issue here. Let's make it very close and see. Select the direct selection tool and make it very close to see the handle. As you can see, 
we need to fix this one. Oh, sorry. We need to move this a bit. No. So the fill path that you have behind it, they should be the same. Because you only played with the stroke, that's why it's uh, losing the alignment. It's not aligned with the other one. But now we did it, we aligned it. Now let's go to the circle, choose the move tool and bring it over here. And this is done. Now go to the folder, Command J to duplicate it, and we will move it. Make sure you click on one of the handles. If you don't do, you will select the items inside the group. So click on one of the handles to move all of the group together. Just like this. As you can see, this uh, yellow is very bright. We need to change the color. Let's change this, something darker, let's change the other side as well. Yeah, something like this would be good. Now you will play with the path. For this one, I was lazy and I did something similar to the green one. But now we are going to create something new. Let's remove this path first. And then we are going to play with this one. Go to the direct selection tool. Click on your points and you will create something. Something like this will be good. We don't need to take our time and play a lot with it. We already have something new now. Now go to the layer, come on J, duplicate it. Now go to the direct selection tool, enable the, I mean disable the fill and enable the stroke. Make the color white and make it 2.5. Now we will go to the points and we are going to remove these points. Click on them and delete. Now go to the cups and make them round. And now obviously we need to fix this one because it's outside of the chart. I'll move it to the side and I will bring this handle down. You see this handle that we have? This one. Bring it down and then bring it inside like this. And we are good like this. Okay guys, like this we finished all our mini charts. In the next lesson you are going to work on the text and everything else in the chart. I will see you there.